Hi guys, today I am going to be reading a poem by John Keats. Um, it's actually a sonnet. <laughs> I said I was gonna get away from the sonnets and I did. It's just not a Shakespeare sonnet. Um, so I'm reading a poem by John Keats. It doesn't have a title, so what we usually do then is call it the first line of the sonnet. So it's titled Bright Star, Would I Were Steadfast As Thou Art. Um, first a little something about John Keats. He died very young. John Keats was only 25 when he died and he was one of the main figures of the Romantic movement. Um, the sonnet I'm going to read is a sonnet because it has 14 lines and it follows a Shakespearean standard. Um, so without further ado, I will be reading it to you now. Bright star, would I were as steadfast as thou art, not in lone splendour hung aloft the night, and watching, with eternal lids apart, like nature's patient, sleepless eremite. The moving waters at their priest-like task of pure ablution round earth's human shores, or gazing on the new soft-fallen mask of snow upon the mountains and the moors. No, yet still steadfast, still unchangeable, pillowed upon my fair love's ripening breast, to feel forever its soft fall and swell, awake forever in a sweet unrest, still, still to hear her tender taken breath, and so live ever or else swoon to death. So that was Keats' sonnet. Um, the, the meaning of it in a nutshell is that Keats wishes that he could be as constant in love as a star is um, because he wishes that he could lay on his lover's breast forever and just feel at peace <laughs> and feel in love the whole time um, and be unchangeable in his love like a star is in its splendor. So I hope you guys enjoyed a little break from Shakespeare's sonnets and um, I'll see you guys again next time. <laughs>